Recently, you may or may not have seen news reports about the declining population of honeybees. That's a serious problem. Well, that's because it is. Bees are very important to the environment and the food supply, um, mainly because with this mass population we have, uh, we want a large variety of foods at all times of the year. I can move bees to the location where they're being grown and farmers will have uh, more yields per acre. And in the case of the almond, it absolutely has to be pollinated by a honeybee. Many people do not realize that honeybees are actually an agricultural tool. You see, we cannot depend on wild honeybees alone to pollinate our crops. To increase our yield, we must move hives to crops so they can be pollinated. Some crops are up to 90% dependent on honeybee pollination. Even more shocking, almonds are completely dependent on honeybees for pollination. No honeybees equals no almonds. There's something called the varroa mite. It's like a vampire mite, or that's what they call it, is a vampire mite. It's basically a tick on the mite that sucks its blood, and it transfers viruses and diseases from bee to bee. Uh, a hive can get overwhelmed with this and die. Another threat would be uh, lack of forage or lack of clean forage. If it hasn't been mowed over for corn or soybeans, which, you know, corn in particular is not pollinated by a bee, but we in Ohio have acres and acres of corn. If it's not that, then many times it's been treated with pesticides. Many fields containing plants that bees depend on have been plowed down and converted to some crop like corn or soy that does not meet the nutritional needs of honeybees. Furthermore, our cities have landscaped out of convenience and aesthetic, over function and ability to feed pollinators like bees, butterflies, and more. So a lot of people are saying, well, I want to get bees to help out the environment, or I have a vegetable garden and I want bees to pollinate the vegetable garden. Honeybees are livestock, they need taken care of. So if you're getting them just because you think you need them without intending on taking care of them, you're actually doing a disservice. My advice to those folks is to plant more pollinator-friendly plants around your garden. We have a lot of natives that need fed also. Our bumblebees, minor bees, there's a whole slew of them here in Ohio. They're underfed as well and having issues. We need more forage. We need more stuff for the bees to eat. We can help our pollinator friends with little cost and inconvenience to ourselves. By simply planting pollinator-friendly plants in your yard, you can help feed bees and keep them well-nourished. And by using less chemicals like pesticides, you drastically reduce the chance of directly killing them off. We have a massive population that needs to be fed, and we want cheap food, we want it to be pretty, and we want it now. You know, that kind of culture needs to go away. Remember, the foods you choose to eat affect bees, and the way you landscape your yard and city really does matter. You can save the bees.